In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a recurring invoice with Dubsado. This is great for subscription payments, retainers, etc. Um, or if you just want to do a recurring coaching program or something for a little while. It's actually very easy to do, so let's go ahead and dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach people how to start and run successful creative businesses. A big part of that is having a great client management system to organize everything. Um, I use Dubsado in my business every day and I'm a certified Dubsado specialist. So if you use the link in the description of this video or the code designed by Lainey, you can get 30% off after you do your free trial. So this is what our dashboard looks like. And when we go into our sample job, we will click over to the invoices tab. Now, the thing about Dubsado's recurring invoices is that they're kind of different than your regular invoices. So when you create your invoice, uh, you also have this tab of recurring invoices. So then you'll need to just click add and it will take you to this page. So this is where you set up everything that you need for the recurring invoice and you pretty much just follow the prompts. It's actually very easy. So we're going to send every one month. You can also do weeks or years and we're going to start on this day and we're going to end either never. You can always come back in here, of course, and end it if you need to. Um, or you can have an end date if it's, for instance, a four month coaching program. Then you're going to establish the invoice. So these recurring invoices are pretty much only if the invoice is going to be the same every time. If it's not going to be the same every time, then I recommend using a payment plan. We'll do our invoice title. We'll just call it a recurring invoice. And then you can either use a package. I have another video on that, or you can create a single light item. So we'll say coaching package, perfect. And we'll do one and the price is going to be a thousand dollars we don't need tax on this and we'll add that line item and then we'll do that every month starting on uh, july 20th which is today and ending let's do a few months i don't that was either four or five months <laughs> ending on November 20th. So that day is actually the day of the last invoice that they'll receive. Um, and then you can put a payment plan on here. So for instance, I have like a 50-50 payment plan. Uh, this would be 50% due after the payment plan was applied to the invoice. That would be like on the 20th of the month. And then three days before the project start date, you'd want to probably set this to something different. So you'd probably do... Um, three days, let's see. So you're probably gonna wanna use after payment plan applied to invoice because this is going to be recurring. So each invoice, this would be you know 50% due on the 20th and then 50% due three days later. If you want to allow that as an option, I feel like with recurring invoices, we don't usually allow payment plans, um, but it's nice to be able to do that if that works for your business. So this is pretty much all you have to do and then you just have to make sure you click start recurrence. So it's going to create um, one invoice here. So it'll create this one invoice here and then you'll see the next one next month when that one is created as well. There's honestly not a whole lot to it. Um, it's pretty simple to do in Dubsado. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what other questions you have about Dubsado or any of the other client management systems that we work with. If you do decide to switch to Dubsado, then I hope you'll use our code designed by Lainey or the link in the description to get 30% off your first month or year. Thanks everybody.